GNS3 supports a large range of appliances. These are available in the marketplace. There are appliances from multiple vendors, as well as multiple appliances from vendors such as Cisco. When you first start out, it can be very confusing to know the difference between iOS V Layer 2, iOS V, Cisco CSR 1000V, iOS XRV, 3745, and so forth and so on. When do you select a Nexus OS versus iOS V Layer 2 versus iOS V versus ASA? Networking is changing, and companies such as Facebook and Microsoft are helping shape networking for the future. I remember years ago training Cisco Call Manager version 3.0 courses, and that's well over 10 years ago, and I remember clearly how in the old days, PBX engineers told me that PBXs will never be replaced with voice over IP solutions. More recently, I've had network engineers laugh at me when I tell them that Facebook has a network switch. Facebook, however, are doing some really interesting things and have recently released Backpack, which is their second generation modular open switch. Not only do we have open source software from vendors such as Cumulus, which allow you to run a Linux-based operating system on network switches from companies such as Dell, HPE, and now Facebook. But Facebook are also making the hardware designs for their hardware switches open source. So you could either build the switch yourself or you could order it from a company such as Cumulus and run Cumulus Linux on Backpack. It's going to be very interesting to see how operating systems such as FBOS change networking in the future. A lot of the cloud-based companies such as Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Azure, and even LinkedIn are using their own switches and contributing back to the network industry. Now, to help you understand the various network operating systems available, here's a great article from Packet Pushers. They talk about their various network operating systems including disaggregated operating systems, such as those from Cumulus Networks, Big Switch, Open Network Linux, Picker 8, Dell, and others. As an example, Open Network Linux allows you to run pure Linux on your network devices in the same way that you may run Ubuntu on your servers but you may decide to run Cumulus Linux to get vendor support in the same way that you may run Red Hat rather than Ubuntu on your servers. Now this document also gives you details of Cisco operating systems. So let's spend some time looking at the various Cisco operating systems that you can access and run in a real environment, but also on GNS3. Now in separate videos, I show you how to download and configure various Cisco images in GNS3. So in this video, I'm simply gonna give you an overview of the various operating systems that are available rather than showing you the details of each one. Please have a look at the links below and also subscribe to my channel so that you can see any updates that I make to my YouTube channel where I show you additional operating systems. Let's start with classic iOS. This is the monolithic operating system that runs single-threaded on a wide range of CPUs. As packet pushers say here, it was developed and designed in a different era. Now on the GNS3 marketplace, you can find various devices that run classic Cisco iOS, such as a 3725 or a 7200. Another way of doing this is to download viral images and use iOS V or iOS V Layer 2. iOS V gives you version 15 of Cisco iOS and writing capabilities. iOS V Layer 2 gives you advanced switching options in GNS3. 
This is the operating system that's covered in the Cisco CCNA exam. Packet pushers also mention iOS SX, but we're not gonna to worry too much about that. There's also iOS XE, which addresses the iOS monolithic problems by abstracting some modules. Notice that the underlying operating system is based on Linux, but you don't have access to it. It has other advantages such as running on multi-core CPUs and isolating the control plane and data plane. Now, if you wanna play around with iOS XE, you could download a Cisco CSR 1000V and run that in GNS3. Cisco also have the Nexus operating system, which was developed to replace iOS SX and to modernize Cisco's internal development process and tooling for software. It once again runs a highly customized version of Linux as the operating system and supports various other features. You'll typically find Nexus operating system in data centers. GNS3 also supports the Nexus operating system through the use of NX OS V. iOS XR is the premium high-end operating system developed internally by Cisco using a range of software. It's preemptive, the memory is protected, it supports multitasking, and it's a microkernel based operating system that's also supported in GNS3 through the use of iOS XRV. Cisco also used to have Katos, but that's very, very old today. And it's unlikely that you're gonna find a lot of these products out there. Cisco also have other devices not mentioned on the Packet Pushers page, include the Cisco ASA, which is a firewall appliance, as well as other devices that you can run within GNS3. So GNS3 gives you a lot of options for Cisco, as well as for other vendors. So we also have Junos, which is an operating system available from Juniper. So in the GNS3 marketplace, we could, as an example, search for Juniper, and we can run a Juniper virtual SRX appliance in GNS3. Avaya have an operating system. So do Arista with the extensible operating system or EOS, also available in GNS3. Cisco have TailF, which has a heavy focus on NetConf. And then as mentioned, we have FBOSS, which is an operating system available from Facebook and is released in the public domain via the Open Compute Project. Microsoft Sonic, which runs in the Azure Cloud, is also available for white box switches. And we also have HP Enterprise with their Comware and Provision operating systems, now called Aruba. You can run an HP VSR as an example in GNS3 if you wanna practice Comware. Another Linux-based operating system is OpenSwitch, which is a community-based open source operating system led by companies such as HP, VMware, Arista, and Broadcom. Packet pushers have put links to each of these operating systems so if you wanna find out more about that operating system as an example, you could open up the link. Another operating system not listed here is Open vSwitch, which allows you to run OpenFlow as an example on a virtual operating system. There are also network applications such as SnapRoute and FBOSS from Facebook. Now, as always, things are changing in networking. So have a look at this document for any changes and one of the best places to look is the GNS3 marketplace so that you can see the latest appliances such as Open vSwitch available in the marketplace. Once again, GNS3 supports a large number of vendors and network operating systems. You could run CloudRouter in GNS3. You could run Open vSwitch. You could run traditional operating systems such as Cisco IOS. You could run operating systems from other vendors such as Brocade, Juniper, HPE, Arista, and many others in GNS3. So have a look at the Packet Pushers page as well as the GNS3 marketplace for options available to you for practicing networking. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it. 
and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.